Japanese scientists are unwrapping a very special Christmas present this week, a giant million-pound detector built here in the Midlands. It's a vital part of an experiment to investigate the deepest workings of the universe by trying to study elusive fundamental particles called neutrinos. Here's our science correspondent, David Gregory. The sun produces a lot of neutrinos. In fact, 50 trillion of them pass through me and you every single second. Obviously, we can't feel them. And in fact, detecting them is a real problem for physicists. And it's something they're working on here at the University of Warwick. But if neutrinos are so hard to detect, why do these scientists care so much about them? Neutrinos are very exciting because of the link that they can give us to the physics of the early universe. So in particular, we're interested long term to answer the question, why is the universe made of matter rather than of antimatter? And experiments like the project we're working on now, we hope will give us some, some answers uh, along the line to, to really answering that question. This detector, built at Warwick, is now being unwrapped in Japan, ready to be installed here at J Park on the coast. Scientists will fire a beam of neutrinos through the Warwick detector, aiming at a second detector based over 300 kilometres away at another lab called Super Cameo Kande. For the scientists involved, there's not just the experiment to deal with, there's a whole new culture. I've been learning Japanese for about a year to prepare, so I can order food, I won't starve. <laughs> first results of this experiment are expected in the summer of 2010. David Gregory, BBC Minns today at the University of Warwick.